Hi, um, my name is Hui Ming and I run Fat Baby Ice Cream. I was an actuary for 10 years before I started this, but I couldn't imagine myself in the corporate setting for the next 30 or 40 years. So I moved back to Malaysia. I was like, okay, while I figure things out, I'm just gonna like make some ice cream because that's my hobby. So I started making ice creams and then I gave it to my friends and my family and then they gave it on to their friends and then their friends started making orders. So I thought, okay, this could be viable kind of business. <sighs> every day is different, but normally I'm here 7am every morning. I get in, you know, unload the dishwasher, do the normal boring stuff, then go through the checklist, uh, then I start putting the ingredients together start making the ice cream, and then I wait for that to age, go out, do deliveries, pick up supplies, or go for meetings, come back, churn ice cream, pack ice cream, then clean up. Clean up is... Oh my god, don't get, me get, don't get me started on clean up. Clean up is a big thing. So then clean up, and I leave about 5, 6 p.m. on a good day. On a bad day, I could be here until about 10 p.m. just sort of making ice cream. My favourite ice cream flavour would have to be complex ice cream. Uh, it's always reminded me of childhood, Saturday mornings, arguing with my sister about what cartoons to watch on TV. So every time I dig into like a tub of our complex ice cream, it just brings me back to you know the eight-year-old me in my parents' house watching cartoons. What I enjoy most about what I do would have to be Seeing people um, eat the ice cream, seeing people I don't know, that makes it even all the better. So seeing complete strangers where they taste the ice cream and as the flavour, as the ice cream starts to melt in their mouth and the flavour comes out, then they look at each other and then they smile and that just makes it completely worth it. My advice to people who are looking to start their own business would be to soldier on. I mean, no matter what happens, because like, all kinds of things would happen, things you don't expect, like really hard things that you would have to go through. It would just be to just powering on every day, even when it's difficult. There could be days, weeks, months of just working and not seeing any results, but to just believe that it's going to get somewhere someday. The most challenging thing that I had to overcome was my mindset. Um, having worked 10 years in the corporate world, you know, I was used to a certain way of doing things. So when I first started this, it was very difficult because there isn't a blueprint to where you want to get to. So I could see where I want to get Fat Baby to, but there was no roadmap to it. So that was quite difficult. But once I managed to switch to my mindset, once you have that feeling that I, I just need to do this and I'm going to go and do it, then everything else that comes along the way, you just, you just do it. You know, you just do it and you just move forward and you go on to the next thing. So that was quite difficult initially. I would have gained a bit of weight in 10 years from now from eating all the ice cream, so that's the first hope. Uh, second hope would be we would have expanded the range of things that we've done. So we will still do ice creams, but all the other stuff around it, like the uh, complimentary items around the ice cream, like the sauces, uh, the bits that goes in, the cakes, we would have that a fuller range of things to offer to our customers. And to also move our production centre to like a proper production centre where we can actually make a lot more ice creams. That would be that would be a really good place to get to in 10 years. Well, we've just recently moved into the kitchen behind. And as you can imagine, when you move to a new place, everything's a bit chaotic. So it takes a while to find where certain things are. It was just very important that everybody knows where everything goes and like important things of like what you shouldn't touch, what's okay to touch, where things go. So I found that the label works print has been really helpful because I've been going around like a mad woman labeling everything that we have. So it's just really handy to have that around. And it's actually saved me from a near miss as well because my mom, she had a plug next to the freezer plug and she almost switched off the wrong plug but she saw the warning label she's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm going to move my kettle somewhere else now. <laughs> so at least that serves as a really good warning and that's just really helpful. It's, it's just been a lifesaver because I, I'm not around all the time sort of watching and it's just much clearer for people who come into it new.